Welcome to the Zor CRM for real estate agents package mini video. In this video, I will go over the different settings that I created in the real estate system. I will show you how to work with it. I understand that you already know what is Zor CRM and how to use it. You already took my course or maybe you already have an experience with Zor CRM. In this session, I am not going to teach you how to work with Zo CRM. If you bought my Zo CRM for real estate agents package, that means that you also got or a free Zo CRM course or a discounted Zo CRM course. So please, if you did not take the course, take the course before. Most of us are very lazy. We don't want to do more than, than we have to, but I can tell you from my experience, if you will know how to operate your Zo CRM, you will be able to make more money and work less because Zo has lots of automations that will boost your business and will the automations will let you work less. So it's important. So let's, let's start with, with the lead system. Now, the lead system, as you already know, will include all the different leads that came into the system. As you remember, the interaction with the client starting with the lead, the lead will be converted eventually into a contact account and an opportunity. And once the lead is being converted, most of the work will be under the opportunities because in the opportunities, you manage the existing opportunity that you have with the contact. Some contacts will have more than one opportunity. For example, I can buy a new house, but I also need to sell my existing one. So I will have two different opportunities at the same time. No problem with that. I can also be a landlord and I can have about five or 10 different opportunities. Some of them will be buy and sell, but some of them will be also rent. So just so you know, the opportunities are multiple per one contact. Now we are in the lead section. First of all, as you know, you can click on the plus button and get a new lead. You can get leads into the system in many different ways. First of all, uh, you can get leads coming from your website and I will show you later because there is an existing uh, uh, integration that I created for you and I will show you how it works. You can get leads from an incoming phone call or an incoming text message. There is a company that I am affiliate with, the company name Ring.io. Um, the reason that I, I got affiliated with the company is because that I think this is the best phone solution in the market for Zoho, and they are the only one, as far as I know, that provide SMS as part of their service. I recommend you to use SMS because when, when you send uh, SMS to a person, it's usually being registered in our brain as something urgent. So even if I will send you a text message and I will say, let's meet next week, you can stop what you're doing and you will respond to me, sure, or what time, even though you have a week until we need to meet. So it's not really urgent, but getting this text message with a ping, it's some doing something in our brain which create more urgency. So I, I hope that you will also take advantage of that in your business and, and you will send your, your customers text messages. So Ring.io provide out of the box VoIP, which is a phone system, and also SMS, text messages, and everything coming into the system, into ZoCRM. If you do want to try them, uh, give them the coupon code which is ABR3 and you will get three months free of charge and I will get a commission from them. I just want to be honest, I'm affiliated with them, but you will get three months free of charge instead of one. You can go to social and in social you can uh, go to automate lead generation and you can set up here that whenever people coming to your Facebook or your Twitter, those uh, the people that are communicating with you using personal messages will get inserted into your Zoho CRM automatically. 
Now you have another option, it's a software name, Zoho Social. And with Zoho Social, you can do many things. I have uh, in my YouTube channel, I have a few videos about Zoho Social. But once you connect your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google My Business and Instagram, you can post from one place. Uh, let's say you create one post about an apartment that you have for, you have for lease or for, to sell something interesting. You can post at one place, which is all social, and then it will get pushed into all those uh, uh, social channels. Now, when people will connect with you from their uh, private messages, it doesn't matter if it's from Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook, all those will come back into the social, but they will also integrate with your CRM. They will get pushed into an existing leads or contacts, or if they are not existing in your system, the system will create a new lead for you, which is phenomenal. So just know it's an option and it's available for you if you want to. Let's proceed. Next, we have the chat. The chat is uh, basically, you know, when you go to a website on the right bottom, you will have this thing that you click on it, it pops up and you can chat with people. That's it, that's the chat. Now that's an integration with Sales IQ. If you want to allow this integration, you will need to go to ZO1. In ZO1, you will need to activate your Sales IQ. If you don't have Sales IQ as part of your package, you go to admin panel, you click on applications on the left side whenever it will load, okay? And then on the right side, you click on add application and click on view all applications. You go here, you search for Sales IQ, and as you can see, mine is already added, but in your case, you will click on Add Application. And then Zoho Sales IQ will be added. Now, Zoho Sales IQ, it's a great application to uh, manage your chats. You can you know, create your chats for sales or for support or something else, but you can, you can use the Sales IQ for many things. And it's a great application, by the way. Okay, so once you activate here Zoho Sales IQ, you will go here to the settings on the top, go here to Marketplace All, and then in the search, you will search for Sales IQ, you will see your Sales IQ for Zoho CRM, you will click on it, you will click on Activate, and activate again. And now the system will do its magic, and then it will connect your Zoho Sales IQ with your Zoho CRM, which means whenever people will uh, go to your Zoho Sales IQ, if they were not able to talk to anyone, it will get registered into the system as a new lead. And if you did talk to them, it will also come as a new lead. But the difference, you will also have the conversation in the lead place, which is great. Okay. You can also see from which pages those people came to you or which pages they visit, which is amazing. Uh, I also have on my YouTube channel, I have videos about sales IQ. If you're missing something, let me know. I can add more uh, videos about it. Okay, let's proceed. If we go to the workflows, you can see that I created a few workflows for leads and I want to go over them so you can understand what I'm doing here. Now, if you don't want any of those workflows, just click on the right side and deactivate. And once you deactivate, this workflow is dead, okay? First of all, I have here a new lead action. If I will click on that, you will see that it's saying send an email alert to lead owner, which means yourself. The rule is getting executed on creation of the lead. It will apply to all the leads. Let's assume that you want to have this rule only from, for leads from your website. Then you will click here on the pencil. You will go to lead matching criteria. And then, for example, you go to lead source is, uh, I don't have your website, but let's say web download. Okay, so you, you can do also that. Now, the email that is going to be sent is the welcome email. 
and the welcome email, the recipient will be yourself, you see under users. Now, if you probably, because I copied the system to you, probably you don't see anything. So you will click here on leads, you will go to users, and then you will, you will see yourself on the left side, and you will select yourself, and then you click on save. Now, the template that I'm using, the template is that, okay? So a new lead alert, grab the phone and close the deal, and you have here the deal details. If you want to customize it, you click here on the pencil, and then you have the ability to customize this email. Okay, now if you remember, if you click on the shift three on the pound number, then you're getting all the variables from the system. This is how I created all those variables. Okay, let's go. Next, if we go back to the workflows, that was workflow number one. Workflow number two is the follow up date. Now, before I show you that, let's go back to my leads. I will have here a lead and I want to create a quick meeting instead of going to open activities, new event, okay, meeting with blah, and I will have here the details and save, create anyway. And now I have an open activity, as if you can see here. I can also create an activity in a second. I created here a field name follow up date, as you can see here. I can just put here, let's say the 22nd at 10 a.m. I click on save. The system created for me an event immediately, you see here. Follow up with Leo Isaac on the 22nd, 10 a.m. It's being registered like that. Now, the way that I created it, I created here uh, a workflow named follow up date. Whenever the follow up date is being changed, I am going to do it here. And I created a special custom function for it. Okay, it's not available as out of the box. You need to create um, a custom function for it with the luge. So that's what I did here. And Let's proceed. So that's a cool way to have a quick meeting. Next, you have created an opportunity. Now, if you have a lead, you can convert an opportunity using click on convert. So first of all, you click on convert. Then let's say you choose the existing one. That's fine. And then you click on the checkbox and then you fill the details and then and then and then and then and then and it takes time, right? So I created for you a very nice uh, automation that it's doing everything in one second. You just click on the blueprint on the create an opportunity and then it's done. The opportunity was created. Everything is in place. You don't need to spend more time. So that's another feature that I gave you and it's create an opportunity and it's also taking advantage of the convert opportunity feature in Zoho CRM. Next we have here a happy birthday email. If you go to it, you will see that I'm sending the email one day before the birthday because I want to be the first. I don't want to my email to come together with thousand other emails. And you can see here the email that's being sent. Okay. Now I don't have here the balloons and all the garbage. It's a personal message. Of course, you can click here on the, on the uh, edit button and you can make a change to it and, you know, have something else. But I want it to be very personal. Hey, Josh, I just wanted to say happy birthday before all the rest will send you birthday emails. Yours, Leo Isaac. No special signature, no garbage, it's very personal, okay? So that's what I'm doing, I'm doing here. Uh, the conversion from those kind of emails will be much, much higher. I have a different video that I created and on for real estate agent on how to convert emails. So please take your time, watch it.